Hey, Dowsa here, and in this video I want to show you the process I'm going through to learn my next language, which is Nigerian Pidgin English. Now, the focus of the Mimic Method specifically right now as I teach people is how to get into character, how to really study the movements and the sounds of the people you want to communicate with, embody that in your own mouth, in your own mind, and then through that embodied spirit, that embodied character or persona, participate in the conversation with the rest of the people. Um, it sounds very abstract and kind of woo-woo, but it's a very precise process, and I'm going to give you a look into what that looks like here. So what is Nigerian Pidgin English? That is spoke, it's a language spoken throughout West Africa. Um, when the British came and colonized that part of Africa, a lot of people came into contact with English, but all these people were speaking many different tongues, many different languages and different dialects. So a lingua franca starts to establish among the whole area called Pidgin English. And um, so if I go to Nigeria, my mom's people are the Edo people. So um, if I want to speak with an Edo person directly, I might speak in Edo, right, the, the, our language, right? But if I'm with a Yoruba person or a Igbo person, then they're not going to know Edo. Right, so we're gonna speak in English, but if they're not educated population, or they're, which most population is not, they might not know that much like proper English, or maybe they do, but they're not gonna speak it themselves. Actually, they probably do. The main concern is just me. If people are here, like you know, Nigerians hanging out and they're speaking pidgin English, like hey brother, how now? I beg, hey, I just want to go talk. And then I show up in that flow, being like, hello sir, I love your T-shirt, right? I'm not gonna go with the flow. People won't understand me, but I'm not gonna feel right. So I want to be able to flow like them, um, which means I gotta put in the work, put in the training. So I haven't done too much yet, but just doing this, like it's basically like an hour to ninety minutes on this uh, before the holidays. And I came back home where I have lots of Nigerian um, family, friends in the area. We always, you know, eat jollof rice and food at their house and stuff. So I came and started showing off to them uh, by reading the uh, chapter from the Bible, the nativity scene, the birth of Christ in Nigerian pidgin English. Because that's one of the few places you can find like audio to practice with. So uh, here's what I got. Matthew chapter 2. After them born Jesus Christ for Bethlehem, where they Judea, for the time where Herod be king, some wise men from east come go Jerusalem. They ask, Where the Jew king where they just born there? We see the star we talk about them, so we come worship them. Waiting them talk so, vex King Herod and Jerusalem people, so the king gather all the priests or guard them, and the people will sabi the law. Right, so that's uh, I'll, I'll let you listen to the rest. But as you can see in the character in the zone, that was not my first try. Okay, I put a lot of effort and practice into it. So now I'm going to show you what that practice looks like. Uh, some of these concepts might be like, "Whoa, how is he able to do that?" Each of these techniques I'm demonstrating to you, you will not be able to do until you train it. So the purpose of my flow school and my mimic method program is for you to train these techniques and you'll be very impressed at how quickly you can learn them despite them seeing very um you know crazy here so what i have here in front of me right now is the audio of what i just read to you that pigeon verse so you can hear it matthew chapter 2 after they born jesus christ for bethlehem where they judea for the time where herod be king some wise men from east congo jerusalem they ask, where the true king where they just born day? We see the star we talk about them. So we come worship them. All right. So that's now you see why I did the different voices because that's what it was here. I was just copying the movements that I was hearing. So how did I figure out what those movements are? So right now I'm using something called Audacity. Uh, if you go to my site, I'll drop a link. I have free tutorials on how to use Audacity. It's a very useful free tool for getting our grip on audio. And what you see here is I labeled these different things because later I can export each of these segments as their own separate MP3 file to practice audio with. Um, but doing it within the app here, I just call this one line number two, right? So it sounds like this. Waiting them talk so. All right, so the first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll take a chunk of thing that I, I can get a grip on 
And then the first thing I do is I try to segment and capture each syllable. Within them. So if I take just these three right here. Within them. Within them. Within, within them. them. Within them. Now, what I have people do in the training in the beginning is transcribe it. Because you have to make a decision about what you're hearing. So you're saying. Within them. All right, there's three syllables. Within them. Right? So, within them. Within them. And, um, however, I'm like always saying, uh, within or, uh, within or watin, you know, I have to make a decision. So I have to listen over and over again. Within them. And maybe three is too much. So I just have this first two here. Within, 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 right? And then once I have that in my mouth and I can kind of move on, but taking a more, systematic approach. I've been training this for a while so I can kind of hear the whole thing and mimic it. The way it works in that program, we start with the most basic layer of timing. So we have this looped and then you would try to synchronize your tapping or tapping your lips with the sound like this. Within them talk so, 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 within them talk so. All right, great. So once I have the timing and I can do stress as well, pa 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 pa. Then the next thing I'm looking at is the intonation, right? So I want to get each of these notes exactly as them. With, 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 within, 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 within. Next to them talks, them talks, them talks, them talk. Dun dun. And what I can do is get rid of the vowels and the consonants and just say, huh huh. Them talks, huh huh. Them talks, them talks, them talks. And the next one. So, this so. Within them talk 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 so. So you're all doing. Dun 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 dun. Right, so once again, I'm moving through this quickly and I've developed the skill over a period of time. You'd be doing the exact same thing, but with smaller chunks, slower paces. And then also what we can do, I'm at full speed right now. So I can change this tempo, 40% reduction in speed. And then now it's much easier to work with. Within them talk so, 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 within them talk so. what I'm humming there is the melody. Once I'm comfortable with the melody, then I can layer in the articulation or the movement of the mouth. Right, so that's why, why I said before, I will transcribe each syllable if I need to. I don't need to do it, I can just kind of segment it in my mouth and that's actually what I'm focusing on training people in more now, is being able to just kind of do it with your body and not having to use pen and paper so much. But it's a really good starting point to get you to hearing these things in more detail. Um, and then once I have the movements, we, teen, them, talk, talk, and I might get to a vowel like talk, and I'm like, ah, is my, or as good as his. Talk, 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 ho, oh. talk, 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 oh. Boom, now I just calibrated my tongue position. Oh, talk. Waiting them talk so, right? And so notice what I'm doing is I listen and then I'm making these micro adjustments. And I'm able to make those micro adjustments because I know all the dimensions that are possible to adjust, which are essentially timing, stress, pitch, vowels, and consonants, right? So in our program, you go through each of these and focus on one at a time until you can feel that dimension quite intuitively and it's second nature for you to adjust in any direction. Um, and once I made my adjustments, adjustments, then I start looping it. And this is the secret to slurping in that spirit. Like this is what you're doing, when you put your attention into this deep focus mode, as you'll see in a moment, I'm being imprinted by this energy, by this pattern. And it's getting imprinted into my muscle memory, into my body. And then 
later on when I'm in a conversation, waiting them talk so um, what they said, I guess is what it means. Um, if I'm in a conversation with a person in Nigeria and I have the opportunity to say waiting them talk so, it's gonna roll off my tongue because of this process. Looks like this. Waiting them talk so. 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 So you notice there, I noticed something was off at the dim. And then I went, put my attention there, and I'm like, ah, okay, make the micro adjustment. Is this process of acting, observing, making an adjustment, doing it again, this is the process. This is how you get better and better at this stuff continually. And then once I can do it at slow speed, I can then now try it at a, either a slightly less slow speed or just full speed as I do right now. Waiting them talk so. 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 So that's how I learned it. Uh, I already did this process, but now it's even better doing it more for each of these lines that I read to you earlier. Um, and. So now it starts to roll off the tongue. So this is the process of mimicry, the getting the character and letting it come. I'll make more content on this in the future, but I just wanted to show you um, that on the outside, it looks very impressive when someone sees that you can uh, speak and sound like a certain type of person. And we tend to see that and be like, oh, it must be a natural talent, a natural gift. And for some people, for sure, it is that. But you have to understand and remember that all we're doing is moving our body in a very precise way. So once you learn the basics of how to be aware of your body in the vocal context, you know, what your tongue is doing, how your lips are moving, how to be aware of the acoustic qualities that are relevant to language, the timing of the syllables, the up and down movement of the pitch, uh, the stress patterns. Once you tap into those things, they're universally applied to all languages. So the reason why I can do this so quickly is because I've done it with other languages. So you do this with Spanish, you'll find when you go to French or to Chinese or German next, because these same principles apply, you'll be able to do it. What we are as humans communicating with one another is we're just translating patterns into movements and then embodying those movements with other people. And we, if you're in a social environment, you embody the same patterns. But if you wanna to go to a completely different social environment in a completely different geographical area where they're doing things completely differently, um, then you're gonna get a, you're gonna to need to hop into and get into that flow. But how do you do that? Well, you just pay close attention to the movements and to the sounds and get better and better. Um, and that's why my program exists, is why my, my, what I teach and what I, what I work for. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about that video. Hopefully you enjoyed my, um, my Matsu chapter six, Matsu chapter two in Nigerian Pigeon. And hopefully if you see this video in time, you can join us for Flow School three. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Registration closes Friday, January 7th. Uh, we'll just say at midnight. But you know, email me if you wanna join later. I'm pretty flexible with it. I just wanna find good people who wanna flow with me and we'll run the program for January 17th to March 1st with a special emphasis on getting you into character and channeling your spirits.